I'm Erin. I'm a registered dietitian. Hi, I'm Kevin. I'm a registered nurse. We are the Certified Diabetes Educators for the Shoshone Bannock Tribes Diabetes Project. We have put together a series of videos using materials from the International Diabetes Center and our tribe to answer some of the basic questions about diabetes. Let's talk about diabetes in Indian Country. Native Americans are two and a half times higher risk of developing diabetes. Education is a key to managing and preventing complications from occurring. In this video, we will present on what diabetes is, the types of diabetes, and symptoms and treatment. To understand diabetes, it helps to know how your body uses glucose. Glucose is a form of sugar. Many of the foods we eat turn into sugar, and blood takes the sugar to all the cells of the body for energy. Insulin is released from the pancreas to open the cell, and sugar goes into the cell. Once the sugar is inside the cell, your body can use it for energy. There are three main types of diabetes. Type 2 diabetes is where the body cannot use the insulin properly. When the insulin goes to open the cell, the door of the cell stays shut. As a result, it is difficult to get the sugar into your body's cells so it remains out in the bloodstream. In type 1 diabetes, your body cannot make insulin. As a result, there is no way for your body to get the sugar out of the blood and into the cells on its own. Gestational diabetes occurs in pregnant women. During pregnancy, extra insulin is needed because of hormonal changes. Some women are not able to make enough insulin, which causes the sugars in the blood to stay high. Diabetes is diagnosed by measuring the level of sugar in your blood. An A1C test measures your average blood sugar level over two to three months. A fasting glucose test measures your blood sugar level when you have not had anything to eat or drink for at least eight hours. A random glucose test measures your blood sugar level at any time of the day. An oral glucose tolerance test measures your blood sugar level when you have had nothing to eat or drink for at least eight hours. Then it measures your blood sugar level again two hours after you drink a sweetened beverage. A1C is a laboratory test that shows your average blood sugar over the course of two to three months. It measures the amount of sugar that is stuck to your hemoglobin. Hemoglobin is the part of your red blood cell that carries oxygen to your body's tissues. When blood sugars are high, more sugar sticks to your hemoglobin. The A1C target for most people with diabetes is less than 7%. When at least half of your blood sugar test results are in target, your A1C usually will be in target too. The chart shown here indicates how your daily results and A1C are linked. Some people with type 2 diabetes may have symptoms. However, some will have no symptoms and find it hard to believe the diagnosis. Some of the common symptoms for diabetes include increased thirst, frequent urination, blurred vision, unexplained weight loss, increased hunger, fatigue, mood changes, dry, itchy skin, cuts or sores that don't heal, infections, or numbness and tingling in hands, legs, or feet. Most symptoms go away with treatment. In fact, it is only after they are gone that many people recognize they had symptoms in the first place. The goals of diabetes treatment are to help keep your blood sugar levels in target, to keep your blood pressure and cholesterol levels in target, balance your diabetes care plan with your daily life, prevent, delay, or slow the progression of health problems caused by diabetes, and to feel better every day. The best care plan for you is the one that keeps your blood sugar levels at goal. There are seven aspects to any successful treatment plan that must be considered. A meal plan, an activity plan, a doctor's plan, a medication plan, a numbers plan, a weight management plan, and a stress management plan. Keeping your blood sugar levels in target will help you better manage your diabetes. Before you can aim for a target, it is important for you to know what your target is. Before a meal, 70 to 130. One to two hours after the start of a meal, less than 180. Your blood sugar level naturally goes up after you eat. This is why it is important for you to allow your body two hours after a meal to fully process the food you ate. Check your results against your targets. Sometimes these numbers will be out of target. Work toward having at least 50% of all your test results in target. Goals to consider at this time include monitor and record your blood sugars, Take your medications regularly. Evaluate your stress level. For further questions regarding any of these topics we've covered today, please contact us at any time for an appointment. Thank you.